this in Burbank, California on Coast to Coast AM. Go ahead, Steve, you're talking with Dr. Michael Gazanica. Okay, great, hi. Uh, it's a bit of a coincidence that I just made a little YouTube video where I quoted from the doctor's article that he had in Scientific American Mind from his book. I hope that's okay, doctor. <laughs> sure. I gave you full attribution. Um, my question has to do with the debate I've been having with uh, some people on the internet on Stickham. And I think, um, pardon the pun, the consciousness is explainable as an emergent property of the brain's complexity, all the neuronal connections and everything. But I don't understand that there's a big debate in academia about the called the mind-body problem, that, that basically the consciousness can't be explained because it's subjective and not an objective phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And so I wonder what your opinion is on this. Well, it's a $64 question as to whether whether a neuroscience will ever get hold of this one. Uh, the, the, the line is that uh, for us humans to try to figure out phenomenal consciousness is like a nematode trying to figure out a dog. It's just, you know, it's not going to happen at the nematode level. But I don't believe that. I think we've made great strides in understanding consciousness. For example, I think that we there's a good argument that we have to think that it is a widely distributed process in the cortex that is locally enabled. There's not a thing. Our, our brain doesn't do all of its work and then through and then send all that work through a conscious enabling center. That actually each system that participates in our cognition has its own enabling circuitry. And there's a whole there's a whole story behind that that we that I, I, I put in the book. But it, I, I think we're making great headway. And then the, the, then ultimately though. If it's distributed and it's all these little systems, is it emergent? Is it an emergent property? And that is a that is a, a, a question that I think uh, we will be puzzling for some time until we get that answer. Uh, I, don't head, I, don't, I don't think it's unrelated at all. Headway could be the title of your next book, if you think about it. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, east of the Hopefully Rockies. There will be. Uh, there will be. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Thomas is uh, in Wisconsin.